Hey Rob, how are you? Merry Christmas to your family. Uh, just curious, uh, when you get through uh, kind of a big win, like you guys, from a confidence standpoint and beating somebody good like Notre Dame, how much of a good carryover can that be as we get closer to the Big Ten season now and just and knowing that you guys got it done when you had to? Uh, it's a huge carryover. I mean, coach really emphasizes uh, one game at a time. So really, we're just looking uh, forward to North Kentucky. Um, we've been at it the last couple of days in practice. So, yeah, like you said, we're just trying to build off of that and take one game at a time. Evan. Hi, Rob. Um, when you and Xavier are on the court together, how do you see the offense bened benefiting from that? Uh, yeah, I see two guys who can really uh, play, make, and make plays for other. Um, right now, obviously, last game, our shots didn't really fall, but I feel like we can make shots, too. And, um, I feel like the, the game speeds up a little bit. We can both run the floor and uh, make plays for each other. I feel like that's a big thing we both can do. Mike Schumann. Yeah, Rob, well, just kind of keeping with that theme. On the defensive end, when you guys are together, I, I noticed against Notre Dame early in that game they were getting some dribble drive actions on you do you do you think that's a, a lineup with you and x on the floor that coach will look for to maybe kind of shut some of that down yeah for sure i feel like we both get in the ball really well um that's my big thing the coaches emphasize with me when i come in the game to try to pick up the energy on the defensive end so whether it's picking guys up full court to try to dictate their offense to get them out of out of their sets that's the big thing i want to do when i come in the game Okay, Jeff, then Tom Brew. Hey, Rob, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Hey, I got in here like two minutes late, so I'm hoping I'm not going to repeat myself. Um, if I am, just say I answered it, and we'll go on to what's next. Um, Coach is talking about wanting to get your confidence level kicked up. I saw you a lot in high school and at AU. I never saw a lack of confidence. Kind of what, what needs to happen for your confidence to get to whatever level Mike Woodson wants it to be at, um, for you to be able to maximize your talents there at IU? Uh, really, I just have to take it game by game. I feel like I've slowly progressed the past two or three games just being aggressive, whether it's not even scoring, whether it's getting the paint, getting more assists. I feel like I've had a couple of lobs to trace in the past two or three games. So just getting down here, creating for each other, and uh, just take it game by game. They'll try to rush it. And I know I'm not going to get it fully back in one game, but just, uh, just take it day by day. What impacts your confidence more? Good plays on the offensive end? Good plays on the defensive end. Uh, I would say a little bit of both, um, whether it's getting the steal and getting like a breakaway layup, or whether even even if it's just my teammates having me up on the uh, on the bench. I see they do that a lot when I pick up guys. So just the energy from the my teammates and coaches really helps me. Tom, Rob, I know you've talked a lot uh, both this year and last, like in regards to like the confidence level, like with your shot and that. And it's uh, um, how has that, if it changed, if anything at all this year? Because it, uh, and you know, do you feel like you're uh, a taking good shots and b feeling good about them when you're taking them? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's that's a big thing, really. Just adjusting. I feel like just coming in with new coaching staff, everything's new, so everyone's still learning and. Uh, like Coach Woodson said, we're still learning our offense, and I feel like we're getting better each game. So uh, just being able to take the open shot and knowing what what shots to take and get to my spots, the shots I know I can make. Jim Coyle. Hey, Rob. Uh, what is it when you know you've played a good game, what, what sticks out? What, what are the things that when the game's over that you know you've done, what you've wanted to do and you've accomplished? Um, what tells you that you've done that? Um, really, I, I try to look at my, um, my defense, whether guys are scoring on me or not. Um, just getting still, so I'm getting deflections or really creating for my teammates, really. I mean, I don't really look at it, uh, whether I'm scoring the ball or not anymore. I feel like just making the right plays what the team needs me to do. Jeff. Yeah, Rob, I uh, just wanted to follow up on a couple of things from earlier in the year. Uh, the new offense that, that Woodson is kind of instilling, it's got some different concepts. We saw a little bit of Spain action at Wisconsin. We've seen some other things. When this offense works really well, what do you think it looks like? What kind of scoring are we seeing? What are we seeing from Trace and Race inside? What are we seeing from the guards? What are we seeing from the wings? Just give me a player's view when this offense looks really good and is running optimally. What's it look like? What are we seeing? 
Uh, I would say the biggest thing is getting quick strikes in transition, whether it's uh, the wings running up, Parker hitting threes, Miller hitting threes, or the guards like me, Christian, or X, or even Scoop coming off ball screens and attacking and creating for the bigs. And then, I mean, after that, obviously, we're going to feed the big guys with racing traits, whether it's quick strikes or, um, like, over-the-top strikes. We have a lot of plays for them, too. So just make sure everybody's rolling on the same page. Tyler, then Jim, and then Jeff again. Hey, Rob, I hope you're doing well. Um, when you uh, first met Mike Woodson, what stood out to you? Um, and also, I, some of your teammates have talked about him sitting down and kind of watching film when, when you first met. Is that um, something that he did with you as well? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, I would just say the just the respect level that he demands from you, even it's just the way he is. I mean, it's kind of hard to explain if you don't really know him personally. I mean, I mean, he's really, I would say, uh, kind of like an OG, the way he is. I mean, just his respect level he gets from everybody. You know? Yeah, that's really what I can say. He's uh, He just really knows the game, and he demands a lot out of you. Mike Schumann. Yeah, Rob. Sitting here right now, this season feels similar on paper to, to what we've seen during the time that you were here. Kind of same record, went at the crossroads. Um, what, But what feels different to you right now versus the, the last three years? What kind of stands out to you that convinces you that this thing's going to play out different? Um, I would just say just the overall feel. I mean, it's completely different. Um, my freshman year, I'm, me and Brace are the only two people here, so we have a completely new team and completely new coaching staff. So just the vibe from everybody. I mean, our, our playing style is a lot different and just the energy um, that's demanded on and off the court. It's a lot different. So um, we really know what we have to do to win. Coach is really just demanding that out of us. Tom, then Jeff, then Jim. Rob, uh, Coach Woodson's talked a lot about how hard he is on the point guards and on you guys in regards to just how you play and, and and how you get better and such. Can you kind of take us a little bit behind the scenes as to as to what it emphasized the most with you? Um, I would say just getting guys in the right positions. Um, he's really – he wants us to be a player-led group, so the point guards have to do that where where we're getting guys in the right positions, um, whether we're telling guys what, where to be on defense or whatever. So he just demands out a, a lot out of us. He wants us to talk a lot and uh, really just lead guys like a point guard should. Jeff. Hey, just uh, kind of like a stats question for you and a little bit in theory. Uh, you guys are sitting there like, I think, 11th defensive efficiency on Ken Palm, around 70th or so offensively. Does Woodson even talk about general parameters, goals? You know, we want to be top 20, top 25, or how does he approach that part of it? Um, I mean, he mentions it to us sometimes. And, uh, I mean, we may have a good game and, He'll still tell us that we still have a lot of work, a lot, a lot of stuff to work on the Divas end because he thinks we can be a lot better. So um, yeah, really, it's it's really the simple details with him, whether it's walking through a play five times because there's a lot of things that can go into it. So yeah, we look at really a lot of things on the Divas end, like the what ifs, what could happen here, and the rotations we have. So I mean, we're still learning. He's still putting in new things every day, and uh, everyone's really learning and locking into what he's to have to say. And that's what I wanted to follow up on real quick, as far as like. Um... He's a guy, NBA people have told me, he sort of adds things as the season goes along. You know, it's not just put in a whole bunch and then work on it. It's put in 10 things, then 15, then 20. Tell, tell us a little bit about just how that process kind of works. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the biggest thing. I mean, today, even we just, just got out of practice. Uh, he's on guys. If not, they have to pay attention on the sideline because he doesn't want to repeat himself. So when the first group goes, the second group has to come in and make sure you're paying attention because if you mess up, he's really going to get on you. Okay, we're going to finish up with Tyler, then Matthew, then Dustin. Um, Rob, what, what would be the, the biggest advice, if you could go back in time and give um, advice to like the younger, like freshman version of yourself at IU, what would you say? Um, biggest advice? Uh, I would say just listen, listen to everything coaches says and uh, just absorb everything and learn. That's the biggest thing is learn. I feel like that's, that's really a life lesson. Um, just learn and listen to other people and don't. Try to put your ego to the side. Matthew. Uh, hey, Rob. I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, Coach Woodson said after the uh, Notre Dame game that he needs you in the worst way. Uh, where do you see, uh, you know, what, what do you see your role as right now and how comfortable are you in that role? Uh, yeah, I, have a, I feel like I have a big role in the team, whether it's 
I mean, I know some sometimes I may play 30 minutes a game, sometimes I might play 15 minutes a game, but I mean, my role is to come in and affect the game on the defensive end and then get guys in the right positions and score the ball on offense. So uh, I just really have to uh, lock in on what I'm doing and just keep doing what I'm doing and keep leading and getting better each day. Last question, Dustin. Rob, we talked a little bit about the beginning of the year, about you, you just being just more aggressive on offense. It seems like you are. I mean, it, do, do you feel that way? Do you feel like you are playing the style of offense you want? It's just as simple as just finishing the shots. I mean, or, or do you feel like you've gone off at all of, of what you were trying to do offensively uh, when the season started? No, yeah, I feel like I've slowly uh, coming off those three games I missed because my calf. I feel like I have in the past two or three games. So. Like I said earlier, I feel like it's getting downhill, getting paid touches, um, whether it's uh, throwing it up to Trace or um, Parker knocking down shots. So the biggest thing with us is really getting paint touches because I feel like that just opens up the court and uh, the defense really collapses when you get in the paint.